My name is Father Christopher Lavori. I'm a priest of the Diocese of St. Augustine and the pastor of St. Patrick Catholic Church and School on the north side of Jacksonville. The uniqueness of the shrine is it's a chance to experience the humanity of our Lord Jesus Christ because we see him as an infant dependent on his mother, our Blessed Mother, nursing, being nursed, being nourished. And it's, it's a very special image for people to have, especially young mothers and fathers and families. Many people travel here uh, specifically for the purpose of asking uh, our Lady to intercede, that they may conceive. And there are many, many stories of couples who have uh, come here and prayed and their prayers have an answer and they, they have conceived. It's a very sacred place. It's a, a place where one can get away from the world, from all the noisiness and busyness of the world. It's very quiet, it has a lush grounds, very sacred sites, so much history. Um, we have pilgrims from all over the world, but many of them are just local pilgrims, people from around the diocese, people from around the state, people who have heard about the shrine and about the special favors, especially the families that are trying to conceive. So it's a very, um, a, a very sacred place where people can come and be quiet and, and pray and uh, come closer to the Lord. And my hope is that they, they bring this back out into the world. It's, it's quiet, it's the sacredness, it's devotion to Our Lady that ultimately leads us uh, to our Lord Jesus Christ. There's a lot of things that people might not know about the shrine. One of my favorite things is a lot of people don't realize that um, the, the blood of the martyrs was actually spilled on the shrine grounds. So the Indians that were, lived here, the first settlers here, were uh, very educated and they embraced Christianity. They, they thought it was a beautiful thing and they embraced it and became Catholic. So many of the missions were spread throughout uh, Northeast Florida and on the west coast of Florida and they would come to the shrine to, to worship. And uh, during the uh, 18th century, during the British occupation, who were Protestant, of course, they and some uh, hostile Indians who they used against the Catholic Church uh, would attack these missions and ask the, the uh, Christian Indians to renounce their Catholic faith, of course, which they wouldn't, and many of them died. Well, that actually took place here on these shrine grounds. I uh, think especially of a, a Christian Indian who uh, took the name Joseph. He knew that they were coming to attack, so he fled from the, the, uh, from the shrine, holding a ciborium full of the Blessed Sacrament. He was trying to save Jesus. And the Indians saw that and shot an arrow into him. And he fell, of course, on, on the ground with the ciborium of the Blessed Sacrament. And then when they approached him, they, they finished him off, they killed him. So that's just one example of a martyr on these very grounds. So a lot of the martyrs is actually on the grounds of the shrine. Are they the legend?